Hi everyone, I'm Dave Mulvaney, here with Mike Godwin. Mike, how you doing today? Doing good. One pace to play for two weeks. Two straight. weeks in a row. I'm excited. I can't wait for RT's joke on Facebook about something. Yeah, it's, he's probably going to say something like, it's too sunny out. Yeah, it's too sunny out, we can't see or something. Yeah, RT, he's such a joke. Yeah. I, I, can't get, I can't get enough of him. <laughs> Keeps me laughing, it's yeah. non-stop. Um, so Mike, we're going to be previewing this week's games in the B Division. Uh, we had to change the, adjust the schedule. We can't use uh, both courts on Tattano until uh, 6 o'clock. So uh, one of the courts we have starting at 4, but the other one we can't use until 6. So we're actually going to add a 9 o'clock game this week. Um, that just makes it so we don't have to do the, the three-court thing in Tattano like we had to do a few weeks ago. Well, probably like a month ago now. Um, so make sure, we just adjusted the schedule earlier in the week um, on the website, so make sure you check that out. Uh, and you know, if you looked at the schedule a week ago, don't, don't go off that, because yeah. it's, it's been changed. All right, first up, Mike, in the, uh, in the B division. If I had it up, that would help. <laughs> Man, we know all our audience is asleep here. Guy's not prepared. Nah, come on, I'm always prepared. First up is Hog Mob vs. Monstars. Danny's been talking about this before the season started. Dave zadowski has been talking yeah, about he, this before the season started. They both wanted a piece of each other. Yeah, they always, every season they play, they want a piece of each other. Well, they got their wish this season. Yeah, they did. Where's that game here? Do I get to watch that game? It is here at 3.30. Yeah, it's yeah, the, the opener. The opener. I'm going with Monstars. If they bring their new, newly acquired pickup, I don't know his name. Is that is that one of the best uh, deadline deals it this season? Be. Jamar brought his Wilmington University buddy. Hmm. He's a pretty good player. Yeah. So if he's there again this week, I, I think Monstars is going to win. Monsters. Monsters are they're sneaky good just because they've had a really tough schedule. Yeah. Um, but you know they won this past week. I think they're on a two game two game win streak. Yeah, I don't forget about Jamar. He had twenty nine points this last year. I was gonna forget about Jamar. You but, weren't about to forget about Jamar. No. But Hog Mob, um, they're coming off a really tough loss to Catalina. There's no way Hog Mob is gonna lose two in a row. They're still sulking. There's no way they're losing two They haven't around. touched the basketball since last Sunday because they're still upset about the loss. Right. Well, I am actually a little worried about Hogmob right now because, all right, they, they just lost to Catalina. Mm -hmm. um, the game before that, wasn't that the game versus J-Squad? Before all the snow? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. we did the 3 4 Yeah. They, they, they beat, they beat J-Squad, but no, J-Squad was, was, like, was dominating them most of the game. Yeah, it's not like they're playing the faculty. With no players here. So I'm calling out Hogmob this week. I need to see a better effort on the court. I don't want that team that I saw lose Where's to Catalina. Darren I don't want to see that. I mean, has Darren been there all this season? I don't know. As far as I'm concerned, Darren's not even on the team. <laughs> but Dave Sadowski, I think he was 0 for 9 last game. That's not Oh, uh, you did not just call David out like that's that. That's not going to help your case. Wow. Is that helping your case? Uh, that, I can't believe you just called David out like that. He needs it. They come, they're coming off a loss. He's coming off a bad shooting performance. He needs it. But I'm still going Monstars. Okay. Five, five. Do you think teams are realizing that Jordan Morgan is the key to beating Hawkman? Yeah. You shut down Jordan, you have a shot at beating Hawkman? Yeah, you box him off. I don't think they really shut him down, but they slowed him down last game. Catalina. Yeah, but if you think about it, he's got to score a lot. Yeah, but homo has got great defense, so. Yeah, they do. I mean, unfortunately, when Darren I'm, I'm, more more upset more that, I'm more upset that they lost to Catalina because now when I talk about Catalina, I can't talk about their losing streak. I know. I'm just as mad Catalina. at Hogma about I wish that. Dan was here. But he would say this is just a warm-up for the playoffs. <laughs> he doesn't even care they won. <laughs> I'm going with Hog Mob though. I think Hog Mob gets it together this week. Next up, we have DDS going up against Delaware. Uh, Delaware coming off an impressive win over the Fireballers. Delaware only had five players. Five players. Short handed win. I'm going with Delaware. Yeah, but DDS, I mean, they have, they have RT. 
They have Kevin. They have they picked up Field. they picked up uh, Chris. A little more size. Yeah. They have Phil, who's their scorer. Phil, yeah. This goes on. They have on. Jamie Hagan, Mick Klein. <laughs> they dropped who combined for six <laughs> points this last weekend. Big week. Big week for that. Huge week. I'm impressed. You, they don't win without that. Mike Delaware's too good. It, Delaware is kind of like it doesn't even matter who shows up. They didn't have they didn't have Bill this past week. It didn't matter. As long as they have one of the Walsh brothers, I might as well talk about the W. Didn't I already say Delaware were gonna win? Yeah, but I was trying to really. But talk if to Jamie Hagan and Nick Klein both combine for six points again, it's gonna to be tough for D DDS to lose. Delaware, how many is Delaware gonna win by though? Twenty. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's not gonna be that. It's not gonna be that bad. That, that is just that's uh, disrespectful. RT, he's not playing that playing that great. I mean. I'm going to get Delaware by, by 12. Delaware by 12. I'm yeah. going Delaware by 20. <laughs> 20. Next up, we have J-Squad going up against Bad Boys. It's going to be a good game. It it's is. here at 5. Dude, you gave yourself a lot of good games this week. Don't worry about what I did. <laughs> Man. J-Squad, Bad Boys, a new look J-Squad. I like their team. Yeah. But Bad Boys. The, the fire, the energy that they were playing with this past week against ACC, yeah. it's unmatched this season by any other team. You think they're going to win the championship? I mean, well, I'm not going to say that yet. No, no. But yet. Tavon Moore they're has jumped ship from ACC to Bad Boys. That might be the biggest roster move. Oh, yeah, that's a huge roster move. Um, and did it just, just before they're they the, played ACC. They're the deadline winners. They might be the deadline winners. Would that make ACC the deadline losers? Because uh, they lost to Baltimore? Yeah, like I, I would think. I mean, that's some size and some scoring, both. Yeah, and if Tavon Moore, I don't know if he can play the same way he did this, this past week, because you could tell he had a little bit of something extra in the tank. Yeah. Um, but if he can bring that again... But Bad I mean, Boys, Bad Boys is impressing me right now. They squad a lot. no slouch. Um, no, no, I know. They picked up a few guys the past couple weeks that have really put them in the top tier of B Division team. I agree. Ted Dwyer going for – he's got to be a front runner for you all. I mean, I, you, you might have seen it. He made two big free throws against Trunk Monkey B and stared steeply down. Yeah? Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Because <laughs> Steve, you know Steve. He was yapping probably. Yapping. Steve. Who are you going with in this one? Oh, man. Do I go with height and size or athletic? And young. Well, I'll tell you what. Playing on the smaller court, the size is going to help. I'm going bad, boys. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going with athletic and young. Um... I have a feeling Jay Squad's gonna take this one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think it's gonna be a close game. We might prepare for overtime. I'll be. I'll. I'll so what's this game? Uh, put. This games, games at five thirty. So whoever plays at six thirty, just know that your game's gonna start a little late because this I, game's I'll gonna be late. two more minutes. Back <laughs> on Not a big deal to me. I like overtime. Yeah, everyone likes overtime. Yeah. Free basketball. Next up, we have ACC Blue Blazers going up against Back on a Mission. ACC coming off a tough loss to the Bad Boys. Now, questions going forward: Can they recover from that loss? I think so. I hope so. Yeah, they can. And then we have Back on a Mission. Is Ray Moore the next one to jump ship? No. No, it's too late now. Up? I know, but I'm saying maybe next season. Gosh. You know, Maybe no. Bad Boys win this season. Ray Mar I don't think anyone's jumping champ. I think Brian Salter says you're out. And Ray Mars is a little jealous that Bad Boys wins. He's got it. No, first of all, no one jumps champ. Brian him, Salter him, right? just says you're out. If you can't beat him, join him? No, I, I don't agree with him at all. No? So we have Blue Blazers going up against Back on a Mission. Back on a Mission is hot right now. I'm how, going. how many drill hires have? Do you remember? Stats. I think like 21. He was hitting the three. 
because he was aggressive. Again and again and again. He was aggressive from the jump. Oh, you got Maurice Farrell on that team. Who are you going with in this one? I'm going back on the mission. Back on the mission? Mm -hmm. I lost him to Bob Moore. It's going to hurt him. Um, I have to agree with you this week. I think back on the mission is going to win this one. It's going to be a good game, though. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be high scoring. Absolutely. It's probably going to be in the low 80s. You think? Yeah, low 80s. Uh, I'm going to go back on a mission by uh, three points. Yeah, I'm going back on a mission by seven. Okay. And that's just because a couple of free throws at the end. Yeah. Next up, we have Flint Tropics going up against Drunk Monkey. Mm -hmm. Tough week for Flint Tropics, huh? <laughs> yeah. Who did they just play this past week? I think it was no, DDS. Oh, it was DDS. Yeah. DDS won. Yep. Not by much. No? They actually played well with only five guys. But Drunk Monkey B has Aaron Rizal, who is, you know, he's having a John Rodriguez type season. Yeah, he is. The second ever to do. Do what John did. Do what John. Have a John season. Yeah. John, by the way, if you're watching this, we need that MVP trophy back in the <laughs> office. That was a team award. Um, yeah, you can't do that without the players around you, right? Nah, nah. Who are you going with, though? Drunk Monkey or Flint? I'm going with Drunk Monkey. Yeah, I, I, don't, just think, too I don't think it's really a question here. Um, really? You know what I heard, though? I heard Steve Lee is looking for the opportunity to hit another game winner. He's so, not going to need, he's not going to have to. No, nah, I think he might tell his team to tank on purpose. Yeah, yeah he's tanking like the section. <laughs> well, no, not tank to lose. Tank to put tank himself to, yeah, in a situation to, to hit a game winner. Tank to make him the hero. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Steve lost hero ball. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so he might not even he might not even play the whole game. He got hit in the nose last game. He might be a little sore. No, he's a trooper. He might not play out. the whole game and just come in for that last shot. Well, I could see that. I could definitely call see a timeout, that. drop, and play for himself. He's due for a game winner. He is. Yeah. So once every two games. So Steve Lee's going to hit a game winner against Flint Tropics this week. I've decided. I don't think it's going to be that close. <laughs> well, Steve's going to make sure. All right. Next up, we have Team Doc going up against Kings of the Court. Right here at Hack 730. Kings of the Court coming off a heartbreaking loss. Yeah. I mean, it had, a, you know, it had everything you could ask for. Foul shots, half-court shots. Yep. Technicals at the end. All that kind of stuff. It had everything. Yeah, it did. <laughs> it was an exciting one. Now, Kings of the Court, they they're, they're very happy. Their captain is Pete. Yes. And Pete used to play for Team Doc. Oh, that's so, a yeah. nice game for Pete. Yeah, I think it has to be. Like, you think Pete goes off? He has to if they want to win. Pete's going to score 30 this week. Yeah. In a losing effort. He's got to shoot at least 30. Now, do we know what Gavin, what kind of shape Gavin's in with his knees? Yeah, his knee hurts. I mean, Doc, I heard, pulled his hamstring. Team Doc's is falling yeah. apart. Yeah, they need to go back to the Oh, it's because they, yeah. they had like three weeks off from the snow, so the body starts yeah, to tighten up. Maybe that's why Gavin wanted to place it. Probably, yeah, he knew he was going to tighten up if he did. Yeah. But I'm going Team Doc. Yeah, Team Doc's going to win this game by 10, but Pete's dropping 30. I was going to say 12. So we're in the same ballpark then. It's okay to agree with me. Next yeah, up, Kings of the Court's gonna have to make a lot of shots. Yeah. I mean, is this you know? You, you look at Team Doc though. They, they have a bunch of scores. Mark London. You think Lamont Pete Corey, Pete Doc himself? Pete Vince should just shoot from half court. Maybe. So I've always wanted to add like the half court shot ties the game up. No matter what. Yeah, it just ties it up. I don't like that. If you're down 30, just get your. Wasn't my idea. I played a game like time. that. Played a game like that where it was just pick up basketball, where it was rules like that in high school. Just yeah. messed around. Yeah. Right. So, I don't like that. Down 30, hit a half court, you're right tie back. Tie ball game. Tie ball game. On this court, though, on the half court, it might have to be from the other team's three point. <laughs> just, just so it's not too easy. Next up, we have La Familia going up against the Fireballers. What is going on with the Fireballers? They lost this past week. Going to skid. It's because I wasn't on the show to predict them to win. So they, they had nothing to play for. Uh, you know what? I wish it was the other way around. That you 
just talked about them so much that they lost. It's no, not. no, it's it's not. It's when it I actually think, is because you've been talking about them for five seasons. Yeah. Well, I knew. I saw. Non-stop. I saw. Like, you know where the fireballers are right now. I saw this day coming when they were just going to be exploding. The fireballs are coming out. <laughs> Because you've talked about them so much. Listen, La Familia, Go ahead, they, had, they, had, they had a tough loss for his team doc this past week. Mm-hmm. Uh, now they run into the Fireballers, the legendary Fireballers. They're not legendary. Yeah. What have they done to be legendary? They haven't won anything. They're, they're first game of the season, they knocked off the champs. They knocked off the champs, but have they won a championship? They will this season. Oh, okay. Fireballers are going to win this season. As long as you don't have to play Delaware again. I'll Delaware. bet you 10 bucks in. Oh, yeah, you're going to take bet the field. You, Great. Bet you long. Come on. Bet you long, so Oh, yeah, on one team? Come on. You're saying they're going to win? No, i got to get It's got to be like three to one odds or something. All right. Three launches for you, one for me. All right, deal. Yeah. Deal. Right. So, Fireballers, I'm picking them again this week so we know they're going to win. Fireballers by how many? I'm like? picking them this week. Yeah, you're picking them every week. Not not every week. I'm picking them this week because La Familia is struggling right now. So I'm picking them going Fireballers by 13. Yeah, Fireballers by 17 this week. Next up, we have Catalina Wine Mixers going up against the Wilmington Warriors. Catalina is coming off a huge win. Huge over the fireballers. I mean over um over uh hold on. Hold on. We were just talking about the fireballers. It threw me off a little bit. Um this is the week, Dave. This is the week. That Wilmington Warriors gets their I, I knew you were gonna say it. I knew that's this where you're going with it. Past the halfway point, all the bad stuff, put it behind them. They put it behind them. This is the week. Yeah, I think Rel's gonna go off. Yeah. Um, give him. Let's give him. I'll give him 15, 15, 15, 7 and five. Yeah, I like 15, that. Fifteen, seven, and five. Um, and I think Catalina. I think their win. I, I don't want to call it a fluke, but it was a fluke. <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm not mad about it. Uh, I always like giving Dan Schultz all the time. I, I miss him on the show. Yeah. It's it's not the same without him to come back at us oh, no. after we get more time. Well, mostly it was you. I felt like I was like <laughs> you guys were fighting half the show. Well, That's why I had to sit in the middle. Maybe they've been losing because Dan Schultz always used to give his game plan away. <laughs> to the other team. Yeah. The other team knows exactly what to do. And you're giving your game plan away. <laughs> so I'm going. Who are they playing? Cali and Wilmington Warriors. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. I'm going Wilmington Warriors by three. Uh, I'm going Wilmington Warriors by nine. Nine? Yeah, nine. Rel, don't let us down. Nah, you both. You won't. This is the first week we both picked them to win. Yeah. Well, we I didn't mean, pick them at all. So. <laughs> yeah. They can't let us down. And every time we picked them to lose, they lost. Yeah. So now when we pick them to win, we expect the same results. So I might, if they lose, I might have to jump off the bandwagon. Well, I, I don't think I don't think I'm on the bandwagon. I think I'm just well, if you off pick Catalina's band. I mean, Catalina has people like Chris. If you Rohr. pick them to win, you're you're you got one foot on at least. No, bandwagon. Catalina has people like Chris Rohr running around out there. <laughs> he's a pickup basketball player. He, he's he's a one shot a game guy. I like what I notice. He he doesn't do much in the games here, but when I play with him in pickup, he dominates. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's because you're probably guarding him. He's on my team. But you're still probably trying to guard him. Doesn't make sense. Ever play pickup with this guy? Doesn't know what he's doing. You no, know, I just give him a great pass to where he needs it to make the shot. Yeah, I mean Chris is on. Chris is in their starting line. Come on. Defense, I guess. No, I, I think I think it's like a rock paper scissors thing. That's probably what it has to be. Does Dane Schultz crack the starting line? Uh, I don't know. I don't think he did this past week. Not sure if maybe it depends on who they're playing. I can see Dan start against the Wilmington Warriors. Well, what do you think? If he was here, what do you think his game plan would be? He would say, we have more size than them, so we're going to go down low, but we're not going to shoot down low. We're going to kick it back out to me for three. He's, so the Wilmington Warriors would just guard everybody? Like, yeah, no problem. Yeah. I know. They'll, so that when they kick it down low, they'll double-team Dan and 
no points for Catalina each week. Game plan out there already. See? There you have it. All right, we're all finished. Yeah, last one. Thanks for checking us out this week. Uh, we'll see everyone on Sunday. Cross our fingers two weeks in a row. Yeah, no snow. Um, that's all I got. What if we do? It was just like zero degrees on Sunday. Well, as long as it's not snowing. It's not whole wood. As long as it's not snowing, weed. Yeah, but it's supposed to rain. Then, so. True. Ice. Don't talk like that. <laughs> on wood. All right, that'll wrap it up this week. Um, see everybody on Sunday. Looking forward to another great week of basketball. Yeah, yeah. See that little double fist bump I gave. Real pumped.